Hey everyone, this is Joe. I'm gonna in this video I want to show you how to do an optimal lineup for um for the NFL. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, FanDuel as an example just to um, start off because that's that's a little easier than DraftKings because Gra DraftKings uses a flex position. So let's just start this off. First, we need the player. So I'm on FanDuel here. I'm gonna download the player list. So I'm just on a I'm gonna do that here. Get a uh, a CSV file. So I've got it here. Now I'm going to copy and paste this into my spreadsheet. Okay, so now we got our list of players. We got all the, uh, the quarterback, the running back, all the, the positions. One thing we have, I mean, you need to have salary and you need to have the projections. I mean, it's best to like find projections offline somewhere. All this is is just the points per game. So that's not really the best determining of who, how people do. But for just to show you how to use it, this this would be a good example. One thing though with uh, Fanduel is the position. They don't have points per game for defense. So just for this example, I'm just gonna say uh, I'm gonna give a couple teams uh, some points. Just say these are projections. It doesn't really matter. I just want to do that so that the the, uh, the sheet will run. Okay, so now we've got all our, our positions, we've got the players, we'll just go by their last name, uh, their FanDuel points, which this we'll use this, the projection, and their salary. So I'm gonna take the filter off, and now we start setting this up. So the first thing, let's see how many players there are. There's like seven, 800. S Solver only does, looks at the first 200, so we need to sort this by on uh, extra column. So we're going to add an extra column here. I'll just call it ratio. And what that is, is just uh, we're going to take like the points per game, which is the projection, divided by the salary. Because we just we want to get the best players here. So I'm going to copy this all the way down. We just want to have the top 200 players or so. And now I'm going to go up to data, sort. With the data, I'm right here on, on sort. I'm just going to the sort from largest to smallest. And here here's all the players. Uh, the position and uh, the points per game for the salary. Obviously, I mean, like Mike Lennon's not even going to be starting, but he played six games last year where he started and he did pretty well. So that's why you need to get fine projections instead of just using the points per game. But let's just do this for our example. So now we've got our top 200 players. So solve our look at those top 200. And here is our rank. This is where Solver is going to, we're going to put zero for the top 200. And Solver is going to put a one next to the ones that it wants to include in the lineup. So we've got our top 200. We get zeros all the way down. We'll let Solver run and do that. Now we need to set up each position. So we got quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end kicker and defense so we need to do an if statement to find out what position it is so if then we're going to go over here to position if this position equals quarterback then we want to do this number times a one otherwise it's a zero What's that doing is, it's shown as a zero, but if, if Solver says, oh, I, I think Mike Lennon should be in the lineup, it'll put a one here. So then this fo formula is gonna be zero two, or oh two, which is one times one, then this will show up as a one. Like say if Solver says, oh, we should have Lennon in there, it's gonna put a zero in there, or put a one in there, and then the quarterback becomes a one. So, but I'm just put this zero for now. Let's scroll all the way over. We need to do this for every position here. So if front, oops, if this equals running back, then we do the same thing. Rank times one, otherwise a zero. Oh, what happened here? Oh, if I forgot to put an if there. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, scroll over more and do this for the rest here. 
wide receiver equals if parentheses this position equals wide receiver then rank times one otherwise zero oops sorry this keeps scrolling over here equals if let's just it's cell b2 so just if b2 equals te then it's rank times one otherwise zero okay we're coming to the end here equals if b2 equals kicker and it's rank times one otherwise zero and finally finally the defense if b2 equals defense then rank there we go times one or zero okay so now we've got this all set up we got to copy this down copy down to 200 rows Okay, so now we got this set up. Now we need to set up our constraints. So first we want to um, set up our salary. So what's our um, salary? Let's take a look again at oops, FanDuel. Our limit is 60 million, or 60,000, sorry. So we get 60,000 as the limit. And now we need to, to sum it up. So we're gonna do a thing called sum product is the formula. All this does is sums a whole range of, uh, like an array of numbers. So we're going to take all the ranks, and these these have to line up, so this goes right to 200, see, 02 times, 02 to 0200, and then we need to multiply it by the salary which is this column here so it's G2 to G200 whoops went too far there, now these have to be the exact numbers and parentheses and I scroll over there it is so this is zero like say for example this became a one and like Sauber says oh we need this person in there all of a sudden there it adds up the salary of 5300 which if we scroll over, see Mike Glennon, salary 5300 So that's how they add up the salaries. Now we to, need to do that for points, because this is the number we're gonna need to maximize. We wanna maximize the points. So again, we want, need to do some product. And we need to do the rank again. 02 to 0200 and now this time we need to do the projected points which I mean in this case is just average but I know there are websites out there that that will issue projected points so that's how you'd um you want to get those so now we've got this and end parentheses now if we scroll back over and look here's our points and let's try it again, see, put a one in here. So there's Mike Glennon, 5,300, and then there's the uh, points. So I'm gonna put this back to zero. And so now we've got the, those constraints. We need to set up our constraints by uh, total players. So that would be uh, total number of players. And in FanDuel, let's take a quick look. We got one quarterback, two running backs, three receivers at six, seven, eight, nine positions. So the max, we got players nine. And now here we just want to add it up. So sum, we want to sum all these up. This has to be total of nine because we want nine players in there. Okay, so we're 02 to 0200. 
Okay, so now we get nine players. Now we just need to put the constraints by position, and then we are all set to go. So let's put this in here. So we need one quarterback, two running backs, three receivers, one tight end, one kicker, one defense. And this is just simply a sum of quarterback. So see there, summing column P from 2 to 200. And now sum for running back, which is column Q. We gotta just do this for all the positions. Now we're summing up the wide receivers. Column R. Sum up the tight ends. Almost done. Now we get to sum up the kickers. And let's finally sum up the defense. There. Okay. So now we've got all this set. And now let's go through the example again. This top line is Mike Glennon. Say we uh, rank one. And there. See, we got one quarterback, one total player, 15.9 points, 5,300. So this is how it's going to work. So now we've got all the constraints in there, and now we just need to set up solver. To do that, you have to go up to data. You can't can't see that up, up here now, but you just have to go to data, and then over to the here and go solver. And it's going to list up all our constraints and parameters we have to set up. So set objective. What's the objective? We want to maximize points, which is this right here. So we want to maximize the cell. By changing, what are we changing? changing all these rank, all this column O. So we need to change those variables. So basically to zero or one. And now we need to add uh, different constraints. So we're gonna click add, we're gonna start adding them. So the first one is this number has to be less than or equal 60,000. I mean, it could be less, it doesn't have to be exactly 60,000, so that's why we're going to say it could be less than or equal. Then we click add. Next one is number of players. This needs to be exactly nine, so we say this cell equals this cell. Click add. Now we keep going all the way down this cell. We need it to be one quarterback. Click OK. Here, this cell equals number of running backs, which is two. Now wide receivers have to be equal to three. I mean, you could just put in here three instead of putting in the cell reference, but then here it's easier to, to change these in case like you want to do it for a different uh, site, maybe Yahoo or Victive or something, and they have different uh, rosters. So now with tight ends equal to one, click add. Kickers equal to one, and then defense equals to one. And now the last one, this is a little, little um, weird one. You have to make sure these be, are binary. What they means is binary is has to be zero. Will be zero or one. Click binary. That's all you have to put. It's equal to binary. If you don't put binary. A solver will go into, I mean, it might put like 0.8 of Mike Glennon and then 0.2 of Drew Brees or something like that. And obviously, we don't want that. So if you put binary, it means it's only you put a 0 or a 1. Now we click OK. And now we got all the constraints set up here. And we want to make sure this is changed to simplex LP. We got everything all set. And now we're going to click solve, and hopefully this will work. So let's go down and press solve, and here we go. All right, solver found an interest solution within tolerance. All constraints are satisfied. Click OK. And there we go.
let's look at what happened. So let's see who it, it took. It did take Mike Glennon, the quarterback. It took here one Connor Barth. So it took Connor Barth as our kicker. Let's scroll down. Here's the next one. DeMarco Murray is our running back. Odell Beckham Jr., receiver. And we can just keep scrolling down, and it's going to get all our, all our players. And then if we scroll over here, it came out to $60 million in salary. We total all their, their projected points, 134.9. We've got nine players, and then each one of these equals one equals one, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end kicker, and a defense. So we got Solver to run. You have all their players. And then, I mean, there's a lot more you can do for this in order, like, as far as, like, extracting the players out to show who, like, an easier view of how to see them and, and everything. Oh, and you can even, like, run extra lineups. Say you run a second lineup where not you had another constraint to be where the second lineup is less than this previous lineup score. But those are a little more advanced stuff. I just wanted to show you the basics, how to, how to get this going. And, um... Hope uh, this guy. Hope this works for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.